Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and uh, I'm here to talk about more about um, the chakras and the third eye and telekinesis and everything positive that involves your spirit and your soul and your body and to just put more in detail of um, just to kind of just flat out just you know raw right down to the point that not even you can deny if you are involved with uh, um, you know your your birdie learning or you're a veteran or something I think that you can uh, connect to this this is something that that is a true indication that the third eye is already awakened within us in the pineal gland like I said it's receiving blood you know it, it's receiving neural transmissions you know it's connected to the brain if it was if, if it wasn't activated if it wasn't functioning it would be just rotted and it would cause problems we, we wouldn't be living so everything is working the third eye is there it's functioning every day like I said about my other video um, the third eye is um, giving you signals and giving you warnings and helping you throughout your life like I said about my other video like for instance like if let's say you're going with your friend to a party house party and uh, you have this like bad feeling like like something bad's gonna happen and that you don't wanna go and you just know that something bad's gonna happen and that the whole situation the house you know the yard it's dark you know these people standing outside it just doesn't feel right you know that's the third eye that's the third eye helping you and telling you hey 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 uh, maybe you shouldn't go you know something will happen, something bad's gonna happen and usually you're right uh, may not be exactly within that same night may not be exactly within the same hour but it usually occurs uh, roughly uh, the next day uh, very swiftly you know it, it, it's it's prediction it's psychic ability everyone has the ability to summon and to um, it's like a intuition when you're going out and to situations going on public you you know some people they they just uh um they just block it off you know we, we as human beings we just block it off we're focused on work we're focused on our children our kids on our lover or partners we're focused on uh being with our friends and having a good time and drinking and we're not we, we, we don't want problems because we already have our own individual problems you know paying bills and things like that and thinking about like what we think as frivolous imaginary mystical um, silly things like the third eye and and telekinesis and it's the, it to us the general public it just seems very alien and it seems like well how is this gonna help me to you know live a better life and to pay my bills and get me a job and get me to college and do what I want because that's how we recognize life but it's kind of like the wrong way because it's one dimensional how that is but anyways what I want to talk about uh, right down to the point is that um I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show a little bit about like uh, another video I spoke about that you have to provoke if you want to be able to predict the future like a psychic for yourself or for others or for a picture for a person that's missing like you see in Walmart missing people you have to summon and provoke um, emotions you have to summon and provoke um, um, the your own emotions and you have to summon and provoke um, for the lack of a better word, your own insanity, because when people um, um, awaken the third eye, you know, doing it the hard way, meditation and eating certain foods and and drinking uh, liquid gold or forgot what it was, uh, ormus or something like that. I forgot if I'm wrong, sorry. Uh, they hear crackling and then uh, you know uh, they go through this process. Um, it's just like a, it's just a very rigorous process, and and. And the third eye is 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 already awakened. You know you don't need to go through that. And uh, what I want to get to is that uh, is that you you are able to to provoke these emotions. You have to be, be able to just provoke it. It's already there. You have to just kind of search. And it's not hard because every day, uh, sometimes we work and subconsciously we're working with third eye, and then sometimes we kind of drift away, but we're always attached go and do something else but then we spring right back to it and then subconsciously we're just kind of going along life following the third eye giving us signals and giving us emotions and things like that and uh, what I want to get to right down is that your third eye 
Um, have you ever noticed that, um, like, this here is a real dramatic example. Like, when you're watching a movie, a projection on a film, a, a, a projection being projected on the wall, a movie in, at theaters, or you're watching a movie in the TV, you know, um, have you ever noticed that, that when there's a scene, or like a roller coaster ride, when there's a scene where the camera is looking down a mountain or looking down like a cliff and it's deep and it's high, you feel like, whoa, you feel like scared. Now, now, why is that? It's because you're emotionally enthralled. You're emotionally involved. You're emotionally involved. But the thing is that's silly is that you know it's fake. You know that it's just a, uh, it's just um, it's just a motion picture. It, it's a you know you're watching a flat screen. It's not real. You're not in the you're not in that place. You know it's just a it's just a it's just um a projection on the wall. It's fake. You know it's fake. But here is what really will get to you. You are the one that's provoking yourself to make yourself involved with what you're looking at. You're emotionally being involved. It's not real. But you're manipulating yourself. Before you enter the theater, you're already ready to be involved with what you're looking at. You're already, you're already going to be involved emotionally. You're, you know, that right there within itself is is your own self provoking your inner energy your own self awakening your third eye because what you're doing is that you're making yourself feel connected to a situation that's external images or pictures or when you're like because you're the one that's you're you're the one that's making yourself feel that you're the one that's making yourself make believe that the situation is real and that's exactly how telekinesis is, and that's how exactly how the third eye is awakened. And that's exactly how what I said is that you must um, uh, you must um, provoke your own insanity, because when people um, go through this uh, meditation state, they crackling in their mind, they go through this state in the same way. They see hallucinatory things, they hear things, they see visions. And, and 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 the thing is though is that that's exactly how like a person in a psychiatric 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 hospital is a person with schizophrenia is they said that there's a both connection to a person that's in in a in a meditative state in the third eye witnessing images and hearing things and feeling things it's exactly the same as a person that's in a loony uh, in a loony bin you know they're both the same now why is that the person in loony bin in his or her life did not go through this through this slow process of of this um they didn't um they didn't do it on purpose basically they didn't have uh, the foresight to just you know well i'm gonna become insane and i'm gonna go through this meditation i'm gonna be stuck in this you know hallucinatory uh state of mind or, or this uh consciousness of craziness or be like a schizophrenic they're doing it because they provoked it within themselves in the third way the third eye works just like when you're watching things on television it, it, you know, you're the one that's manipulating yourself to believe in the situation that you're watching in the film. It's fake, but you're pushing and provoking emotions, and you're and and the feeling of, oh, I'm I'm, I'm gonna fall. But the movie is just it's it's being projected on a wall. But you're the one that's provoking the emotion of of being afraid, and being afraid that you're gonna fall, and that the feeling of falling, the feeling of falling, the sensation of falling. You know the the cessation of fear, the cessation of the winds blowing. You're creating that. That within itself is is the activation of you connecting with your third eye and being one with it. That within itself is right there. We won't even we, we as people wouldn't even recognize that. But that within itself, that's it. That's what you're supposed to do. If you want to be a psychic, you have to sit back, even though there's nothing happening, no external movies are happening. You have to provoke. These sensations, these emotions, the feeling of wind and water, this, you have to provoke, provoke, make it happen, and then you'll be able to see things, be a psychic, that's how it is. And to also protect yourself and predict things, and to also be able to feel objects, uh, move in with telekinesis, to have empathy with the object, that's how it is, because what you're doing is that you're having empathy with uh, a movie. You're having empathy with the situation that's occurring in the movie. You're having empathy. You're making yourself emotionally involved. You're 
mind, your fear, your sweating, but it's not happening because you're provoking it. You're manipulating yourself to make the situation real to you. And that's how telekinesis works. You make the object move in a way that's real to you. You, you create the imagery of how you want the object to move and then you bring it to reality by connecting with it, by provoking that. Just like I said, the belief of self, the will of self, without having to go through meditation, even a person in jail, people that are schizophrenics, they, they're the ones that have harnessed this power of this telekinesis and this third eye, not telekinesis, third eye, psychic abilities, they're the ones that just let it happen. Why? They're stuck in it. It's not healthy to be a lunatic or be a schizophrenic, but they're stuck in it. Why? Because they have will. They didn't go through the process of meditation and drinking Ormus and things like that. They just did it themselves. And as we as people, we don't have to be stuck in it. It's safe because you're able to come back and forth out of that state of, of third eye visions and hearing and, and predicting things and telekinesis, telekinesis powers, moving objects, floating things. You have the will and power as a person. If you're locked up in jail, if things happen in the future, that the government goes crazy and they want to suppress us, you, I'm giving you a message that that when you're locked up in a small cell, uh, two, be two feet by two feet, and you know, whatever, this it's small as hell, you have the power to awaken your spirit and yourself because of your will. Your will to believe in yourself. Just the fact that we're alive is enough. You have the power to do that. And this is Ricky Cispedes, and I want to add more, but I have to end it pretty soon. And I want to see, maybe I can squeeze it in. And, and, and also to how you can provoke it is anything that you're looking at let's say that you know there's a wall and there's a door next to the wall and it's your closet and it's your wall of your room how it, all you need to do is stand there by yourself and how can there be a connect how can you activate images or predictions of things anything in your life any frivolous object mundane things you can activate these mystical powers within yourself just by watching things and letting your mind be, become a create imaginative adventures by just looking at plants, pretending that you're walking on the plant, pretend there's an alien on there, pretend the plant is is in a universe, in a alien universe. Just let your mind go wild and play with it. Activate, become activated, manipulate yourself, push yourself, provoke yourself. That's how you do it, Miss Ricky says, but is. It's the third eye. It's already awakened. The chakra is already aligned. We're already connected to the universe. You have the power to push with the will of your own existence. We're alive. You have the power. Thank you very much.